Here's a cool one. I think you'll like this, Will. I don't actually know if you ever played this game. I've heard good things about this game. The Witcher, have you ever played it? Uh, no, but I heard a lot of good things as well. Okay, so this is a game that at the time, I think it got some attention because of the, uh, the well, the graphics, because of the the, the world, the environment, the, uh, the, the imagery. Mm -hmm. But it turns out a lot of people enjoyed the game at a subpar experience from what they might have had they had different hardware. And of course, this is this is often the case, right? You're playing, for example, you play this game or any game on a console, especially if it's one of the older versions of the consoles, you might be only playing a game 30 FPS. Mm. And you might only be playing a game, well, in this case, look at this, the original PlayStation 720p and the original, or sorry, the original Xbox One 720p and the original PS4 900p. Mm. Not, not even, we're not even 1080p, dude. And 30 FPS cap. So the developer says, look, the visuals took a hit. And we don't feel we feel like you didn't really experience the game as well as you could have. This is a weird thing. You didn't expect a developer to do that or come out and say that. You, they got your money. You bought the game. What, what's going on? So, anyways, now they're giving the PC version in you know full PC experience. They're giving that game for free to anyone who bought the game mm -hmm. on another platform. Just mm -hmm. download it for free. And this is another thing that really kind of struck me is it's no DRM. Where did I read this? This is crazy. Right here. DRM. Even owners of the PC version can still snag the extra copy, which you can also gift to a friend if you want. If you want to keep it for yourself, it's a DRM free copy unlike Steam or the Epic Game Store. Really interesting. What are they doing? What, are they trying to prime prime their customers for something? Uh, for the uh, they want to be, make people feel warm and fuzzy. Is it an experiment they're running? All kinds of uh, speculation. There's obviously speculation in the art article. I have my own speculation as to what what might be going on. Uh, There's a lot of diehard fans in The Witcher Three uh -huh. and The Witcher Two. So, so maybe it's just fan service. Here's an update to the article. The game is going to be available through their game library app. Sadly, Switch owners got snubbed from the promo. So Nintendo Switch people got snubbed. But they've been doing well, the Nintendo Switch people. They got games. They're all playing. Everyone's Animal playing. Crossing. Yeah, everyone's playing Animal Crossing anyway, so they're fine. Can't play that anywhere else. Bit of a shame, though. Uh, there, Yeah, so there's speculation that it's part of them building up their game store to get a bunch of signups that they're going to then collect the... And they got the game sitting there anyways, so mm. maybe they get a lot some people into their ecosystem this way. But I don't really care. Look, the, the way I look at it is you could buy the game a day ago, they do the promo, and if you were a fan in the past, here you have another option, free, DRM free. I think it's kind of cool. And you know, maybe it's time to give it a crack. I just need a friend who can send me their DRM free. Yeah. Uh, version because they said you can gift it. So yeah. just saying. But of course, this is also going to ignite all the people that say, I've been telling you, what are you playing that game on PlayStation? Uh, uh. But I should say to the PlayStation fans, console fans, when the next gen came out, the PS4 Pro, obviously the resolution went up and the frame rate, rate went up. So it got closer to the PC experience. Hmm. But they say the PC experience, full pop, still the way to go. Maximum immersion graphics. 